Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Might and Magic Heroes 7. This is the Haven Campaign. And bad Juju Magumbo seems to have happened at the very end of the last episode. Apparently, there are a bunch of orcs that needed shelter. We allowed them to come in, but now the Imperial Armada has come to claim those orcs. And we are not going to allow them. So, our uncle, good old Conrad here is going to try to buy us some time so we can escape and destroy the bridges to give us enough time to prepare our defense. I have no idea what we should be doing or how we're going to succeed or achieve our goals, but it looks like this is going to be pretty darn tricky. So, that being said, let's take a look at our quests. The heroes of Hammerfall must not be defeated. Do not lose Thomas. He will be carried over to the next map. Do not lose Emeril, she will be carried over to the next map. Hammerfall must not be captured by the enemy. Last man standing. Conrad must survive as long as possible. Hold off enemy attacks with Conrad as long as possible. I don't know how that's going to work out, but okay. And closing door. Destroy as much bridges as, or as many bridges as you can to block the Imperial Army. Be sure to destroy all Shantiri bridges. We have to destroy one, two, three, four, five, and six of them. And we'll gain two. Okay, well, I guess we, we know the score. I don't know how we're going to survive. If you take a look at this, 250 to 500 all the way across the board for melee combatants and somewhere between 50 and 100 griffins. And if you take a look at Conrad, he's not really suited for combat very well. It actually says the fight is trivial. What in the world unit does he have? What are these things? Swordmasters. They are Haven champion creatures. Okay. Well, maybe maybe they do have a chance. I don't know. That is craziness. Alright, well, let's click on this and see what this is. Alright. Hmm. They are indomitable. Creature is immune to negative mind effects, it's immune to morale decreases and mesmerize, and ignores face of fear when being attacked. It hits all neighboring enemy units in an angle around the unit, around the target unit. Well, maybe he can hold it off for a while, that does seem pretty impressive. Alright, so I guess we need to start moving out. Let's grab up some wood, and grab up some ore, and there's a catapult being launched, or fired. I don't know exactly what it did, but it fired at us. Well, that was minor, minorly inconvenient. Last man standing and closing the door. Alright. So we kind of already know what our mission is and what our objectives are. We are going to do battle with the Griffin Army. And our forces are significantly less than they used to be, but that's okay. We're going to start the combat and get going. We'll see how this plays out. This looks like a pretty intense and crazy mission, so... I'm a little excited to see how this all goes, but at the same time, I'm also a bit concerned and a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. There's definitely a little wedding of the Huggies. I'm just saying. Just saying. Alright, are we far enough away from the Griffins? No, we are not. Well, now I feel a little bit silly. That I did not position myself well enough. Alright, well... Could have been worse. It could have been worse. Alright, what if we go and we attack... Why don't we just not do that? Why don't we just hit our wait turn button here? We'll kill off all of these. Maybe with the high morale we'll go after the next group. I'm not sure. We'll hope. Yep, there it is. They have no possible chance of killing us with it, so it's fine. We have our two Justicars, or our two Justicars. I feel as though they get to move twice no matter what. Cleave. The creature always hits twice. Attacked uh, creatures have the opportunity to retaliate after the first hit. And opportunity retaliation. The creature gets a free retaliation on a neighboring enemy creature which attacks another friendly creature. Alright. So be it. So be it. We're going to move and wait. And then we're going to wait again. We're going to have the Abbot throw out his hatred. It's not going to do a whole heck of a lot. Have him do it again. Maybe another one damage or one kill there. Four to five kills coming at you. 
All right, we can maneuver him in a little bit, and it's time for us to do... Wow, we can actually kill them with our hero. There it is. Our efforts were coordinated enough for us to be victorious. All right, so we only ended up losing three of our legionnaires. That's not too bad. All right, we shall gather up the gold that sits before us. And I guess we're going to attack... We're not going to be able to attack that. That's too risky, apparently. Alright, so that is the move. I'm curious to what's over there. Hmm. I am not entirely certain. I am not entirely certain. Alright, meanwhile, over on this side of things... It looks like we can come over here and snatch up some wonderful, delicious resources. Maybe. We have no movement left. Alright, so she is not really a very move-heavy individual. So we're going to end our turn and see what the enemy does. And they're launching an attack up against Conrad. And Conrad's like, well... It is simply what it is. Um, I'm not sure what's coming our way. I'm going to stand there and we'll see. The enemy hero is there. Maybe that was us. That was us there. And they are going to send their multiple people. Alright, so what we're going to do right now is actually attack where the retribution is not going to matter. And we're going to wait our turn. Let's see what their play is going to be. So far, I'm not impressed. At all, in fact. Hmm... I think maneuvering myself over here might be okay. We're going to defend from there. The Retribution's going to come out. Nope, Celestial Armor this time. Have you move forward. Going to have you get rid of the Celestial Armor and the Griffins. Oh, they survived it. All right, we're going to wait it out. And the first of the footmen are going to come forward. Into their death, I might add. There's no way they survive. He's defending, okay. You are probably going to attempt to defend, but not going to be able to. Alright, we are going to sweep and just do massive damage to all of these. There it is. Oh, look at that. That was pretty tremendous. Not gonna lie. Are you going to... Oh, we just got bedazzled. I don't know what that means, but that's pretty awful. What do we have here for, for a healing? Hmm. Seems a bit ridiculous. Uh, we can try to throw the heal. Heal and resurrects 100 health. 104 health. I don't think that's going to be enough. So, I guess what I'm going to do now is... Maybe just... Eh, we're going to back away. Let them come forward and hit us. And we're going to retaliate and kill. The coordinated effort is there. And once these all group up... We should be able to have a pretty easy chance to kill on this. We'll see. Not super worried about this attack. Alright, he's going to come forward, and again. Not all that impressive. Alright, Retribution's coming out. Oh, I don't like that. That's going to hurt. We're going to lose at least one, if not two. Oh, we didn't lose anyone. Okay, well, I'm totally wrong. I apologize, folks. Alright, we're going to actually throw out a heal right now, simply because I want our boys to stay alive. And the retaliation is there. Doesn't look like it matters. Alright, well we're going to have to hit from here. Sarah, do we get another lucky move? We do. And it looks like we can annihilate them straight up, and there it is. The annihilation is real. We lost two guys in total. Or one guy in total, I think. We lost one. Yeah. Lost one, he's reached max level. We gained treasure. I don't know what that means, but okay. We're going to close that out. And we held the line, I suppose. Alright, we're going to continue on with our gal pal here. It says we can't move there. I wonder why. Like, you would think that you can move here, right? Alright, well, we're going to get some more treasure loot here. 
Oh, it's already tagged for us. Well, that's awkward. Awkward. So I just made a pretty big misplay there. All right. So all these things are already tagged for us. All the ones that are in the little, like, white dealie. So that's tagged for us already. Okay. I'm going to step to here. I don't care so much about the pile of ore laying there. So what we're going to do is... Um, the avalanche is blocking our way. So we're going to have to repair the avalanche. Repair it. And I guess we're going to go and grab that stuff up then after all. Oh, that used all of our turn. Okay, never mind then. Alright, looks like the next group of baddies is going to come up and we're going to have to fight with our good old Uncle Conrad here again. Let's see how we can hold the line. I don't know what we're up against this time around. I'm going to start it up and see what's ready. It looks like they are much, much more ranged oriented. Alright, we're going to probably smack them pretty hard there. And I want to say we're going to go here. Hopefully we get to move again. We do. We're going to defend from here. 750 guys this time. That's going to be pretty tremendous. Okay, the shot is there. 73. Not great. 41. Griffin apparently is just like, nope, I don't want to move. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to stand here and do nothing. Alright, we did 48 damage there, which was reduced down to 38 damage. We're going to have to wait our turn. Hopefully we survive. We're going to walk forward, and I think we'll be able to annihilate this guy. In theory. 42 damage, and probably another 42. Oh, 21. I'm going to guess 42 more. Uh, 34 more. Alright, we're still doing okay. We can obliterate all 750 of these guys. That is pretty darn sweet. And we can move over here. And now he's going to have to close with us. We're going to see more damage come our way, but thankfully not enough to take us down this time around. Alright, we're going to throw out our heal. Which apparently is an AoE heal. Okay, we're going to wait our turn again. And his defensive stance thinks is going to save him, huh? Alright, well, we're going to give it a shot. See if we can burn him out immediately. Alright, we just did. Excellent. And it looks like we can annihilate you straight up as well. And now all we have to do is finish off the remaining two. So 48 damage there. Move on this way. Kill with a 52. And yeah, what kind of spells are you going to use now, you think? The bedazzled one again? No, he can't. He has to use something else. I used something else, but it still hurt us pretty darn bad. And we lost another one. Now it looks like we can use the heal again. Alright, I'm going to see if we can't resurrect our guy. Nope, but that is a very loud sound, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Alright, well, whatever. We killed that guy off. We gotta kind of conserve some mana in the future. We lost another one individual. That's not great. It is not great, but we did defeat Tatjana. Gained some more treasure. Okay. Oh, wow, we actually gained a lot of treasure. Oh. Alright, so we have done it. Now we must move onward with good old Thomas. And I am leaning toward snagging this along the way. Greetings, Lord Thomas. My name is Ella, and your uncle asked me to help you save his city. So you were a bloodsmith? My uncle told me you would help us protect the city. Conrad and Kin have always been friends of Hammerfall. He learned to embrace our ways. Then he really was a bloodsmith, after all. He sought the truth. We enlightened him. That story will have to wait. Hammerfall is in danger. Do you have any weapons that could help us protect the city? You must find the Shantari Soul Key and bring it to the Elemental Forge. Where is it? There are precious lives at stake. 
You have dragon's blood in you, young Thomas. There is more to protect in Hammerfall than you yet know. May the angels guide you in your quest. Well, isn't that foreboding, or at least interesting? Okay. So some random locations just shown up all over the map. The bloodsmith's words were cryptic, but she had planted the seeds of Thomas's future as protector of Hammerfall. Thomas knew that he had to use everything at his disposal to protect the city. All right, let's dispose of the city. Wait, what? No, that's not it. That's not the play. All right. Divided we fall. Soul quest. All right, what's soul quest? Uh, find the mysterious Shantiri soul key and a tear of Asha and bring them back to Ella. Oh, well, isn't that fantastic? All right, meanwhile... We also must have Divided We Fall in progress. Rally the different forces to Hammerfall under your banner. Thomas must talk to Archangel Murazel. Thomas must talk to the Knights of Evergrey and needs to find a place for the Orc refugees to settle. Sounds like I have a lot of work to do. I'm just saying. Give me a break, guys. Jeez, how can one man do all of this stuff? Alright. It looks like there's an obelisk there. I don't see one here, but it did highlight this. Which is interesting. And there should be one over here? Maybe? Or down here? No, that's... okay. Hmm. I am so very confused by all of this stuff, but whatever. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna tag this and destroy it. Destroy! Alright, and then we're gonna go get. Well, I don't, we don't really need mana, but we're gonna go and we're gonna talk to Murazel. And it's going to be okay. Meanwhile, the Blood Sister, or the Red Shield, or whatever she is, is gonna come on over this way and do come on over this way stuffs. And she's going to cross that bridge right now. The Shantiri bridges are the most impressive testimony to or of the ancient's splendor. Both extremely sturdy and beautifully sculpted, they are much harder to rebuild than usual bridges. All right. Oh, destroy. All right, cool. That does not look like it's worth our time. All right, we're going to go over here and talk to the blind maiden when we get a chance, and it looks like we're going to have to end our turn again. Are any of these villages or cities under our control oh they are well I've probably been making terrible mistakes you guys have probably been laughing at me the whole time okay so that being said it looks like we need to start getting more things going let's go to new market what do we have here see people have also complained about how clunky and awkward the the UI is this is so streamlined what are they talking about I, I really don't get 95% of the complaints that this game is receiving it's just ridiculous and ludicrous. People are just whiny babies. It's different than Ham 3. No! Whatever. Whatever. Alright. The reason I'm doing this... I don't know if this stacks. I don't really care if it does. But I want to be able to get our abbots in all things here. And to be able to get our other people as well. I feel like our fortifications should be increased accordingly. Alright, we can get the beast layer going as well. That's not too bad. Alright, so we'll split it up a little bit there. We're going to end our turn. I should have paid attention and saw that we actually had the three cities. I was wondering what that was off to the left. I'm like, I'll get to that in a couple of turns. I don't want to get everybody cranky and angry with all the crazy things on the field, you know. We'll just do one at a time. It's going to be fine. Turns out I was wrong. All right, what are we up against now? Abbot, uh, marksman, marksman, and then melee combatants. Not fantastic. All right, well, we're going to kill off a bunch of the marksmen here. Move down here and defend. And I think slowly but surely we're going to be losing more and more troops. There's a 31 attack, not that impressive. 
followed by a 15, also not impressive. The 96, a little bit more. And then there's the 80, alright. Celestial armor on you. Okay. Do some more damage to you, good sir. What do we have here? Alright, we have 228 left. Alright, we're just gonna defend right now. You know what, we're gonna wait. Defend, wait, wait, defend. Um, I think we're gonna defend. Alright, so they should be able to move a bit closer. No, not as close as I was hoping. We're gonna absorb a little bit more damage this way. We're gonna try to throw out a heal next time around. And we are down to 73. We are pretty low on the... Oh, there we go. We lost our first guy. It's unfortunate, but it is simply what it is, right? All right, we're going to come around to the side of you and Kaya! And we're going to do pretty decent damage there, I dare say. All right, another 48 damage going out. And we're going to try to man up against this guy. I wonder if that's the play or if I should defend again. I think we need to defend one more time. Let him close with us. We'll retaliate against him. Ooh, he did way more damage than I thought they would. Maybe that wasn't the play. Theoretically, I shouldn't lose anyone else. But we'll have to wait and see. Oh, we're going to lose more because he's going to continue to be able to land nasty attacks like that on us. A beam of light. Yep. Alright, the retaliatory strike. Did we lose someone there too, or no? Uh, Imperial Griffins all got wrecked there. Let's see. Imperial Griffins got hit. Didn't say that we... Hmm, that's weird. Didn't say what happened to us, but that's okay. See here, what do we have? Number 19. And we can absorb up to 195. That seems like a pretty good deal. Alright, let me get a bit closer. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. We're gonna try to go down here and sweep these guys out. Which I feel is a little silly considering how much more powerful the other thing is. Maybe not. Maybe I'll start with him and then come down. Can we survive without losing anyone else? I think we can. The attack is there, and the follow-up is going to be okay, I think. Alright, what we're going to do is the hero attack. Actually, we're not. We're going to throw out a heal. We're going to heal him. Loud noises are going to ensue. We are going to murder this guy. Down he's going to go. He's going to blast us with a beam of light or something of that nature. It's going to be painful and unsatisfying. Oh, he's just going to auto-attack us. Alright, well, we should be fine then. The retaliatory strike here will kill him off. Very nice. Very nice. And here we go. We lost three that time around. Four. Four that time around. It's not looking great. Alright, we gained another 10,000 gold and two ore. Oh, man. Whew. The Blind Maiden, alright. Huh. Well, we're gonna go to the Blind Maiden anyway, and we're going to murder him, hopefully. Since it's a trivial fight, I'll believe it. And now we get to finally do battle with our Paladin. Good old Emeril V. You guessed it. Red Shield, or Emeril Red Shield, I suppose. I don't know if she's a the. Or not, I'm not sure. Alright, let's do it. What do you have, Griffins? Bring it. Slowly. Bring it slowly. Okay, good. Oh no, you get to move again. Are you kidding me? Really? Really with the high morale and the move and the... Oh. Why does that even surprise me? How much health do you guys have? Six... Okay, alright. So we know that we actually heal for more damage than they have. Let's see if we can actually get one back. We did it! We resurrected one! Woohoo! Alright, cool. 
cool. Let's kill this guy off. And the fastest slash in the east, ladies and gentlemen. The fastest slash in the east. Alright, we're going to wait. We're going to blast with the Abalt. And then we're going to kill with him. And then we're going to finish it with this guy. Simple and easy. Sweet, sweet, nice style. I likes it. I likes it a lot. Alright, the victory is ours. We lost three. Three of our archers. Two. Two of our archers. I thought we lost three. My bad. We did lose three. I resurrected one. Never mind. I can do simple math, guys. I can. I swear it. Alright. Well, we have a lot of stuff laying around here. I think what I'm going to do with her... She, I mean, she's kind of all over the place right now, right? Leaning toward hero ship, uh, or leadership hero type thingy like we did before, but perfect defense. Whenever a friendly creature is attacked, its defense is raised to match the attacker's attack. Huh. And then, we already know that one. And then, what's this? Diplomacy. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to go light magic. I know, I know. It's weird. It's a little bit weird. Heal can now be ta cast on targets within a 4x4 area. Sunbeam additionally decreases hit creatures attack by attack and defense by one for three turns and leadership for every light spell cast that's not bad all right we're gonna learn that up and we'll continue on that way I'm gonna try to start being able to do some resurrection I think that's gonna be the play and honestly that's kind of the path I'm gonna eventually go with Thomas as well I feel like it's too good not to pursue all right let's take a look is it worth it it is not worth it and we do not need to go over there for any reason all right, we'll come here. We will cross the bridge. We will, well, we'll cross the bridge and then we'll manipulate it. I'd rather not destroy the bridge while I'm standing on it. Let's destroy it. And we're going to come on over here. And there's not much we can do. Looks like we'll be in a fight soon. We'll hop on over to Thomas now. Looks like we might be able to go another turn or maybe two. And then we're going to have to break off the episode, guys. I feel like there's a lot going on and we're not getting a whole lot accomplished or very far, but I feel as though that is kind of the nature of this particular campaign, so there is that. Alright, we'll move over here and snatch up the ore. And then we'll zoom out. I do need to change one setting, guys, and I'm a little hesitant to do it, but we'll, we'll get it working, guys. Alright, let's end the turn. It was the first time I met Thomas Wolf in person. He was not a boy anymore, but a knight and a leader. Though he still had trials ahead, he asked for my help, the then guardian angel of Hammerfall, and I accepted the role of peacekeeper. But I would not fight the men of the Holy Falcon Empire. I established a neutral zone, forbidding warmongers to cross the blacksmith gate. I also pointed him in the direction of a Shantari soul key fragment. That would serve him in his noble endeavor. Well, that sounds lovely. Thank you for that. Okay, so he pointed us in the direction of a Shantiri soul whatever fragment. I guess it's guarded by whatever those things are. They do look intimidating, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little scared. But we're going to end the turn. We're going to do battle with whatever they send at us now, which I'm sure is going to be awful. And then we're going to probably do one more move, and then before we break off the next turn, we'll probably end the episode. Alright, I feel like I'm just going to charge in. I'm tired of waiting around and getting picked off, so we're just going to go for it. We're going to go for broke and just kill everything. That's going to be the play. Alright, we're up against... Oh, they have angels and an AoE celestial armor. That's a bit off-putting. Alright, well, let's do some celestial armor of our own move here and then we'll follow it up hopefully with another oh we didn't get a double move that's a rare and horrifying thought oh we are immune to light magic right now that's pretty good Oop. that seemed to not mind the light magic so much Ooh, retribution is out no we're gonna get retributed upon can't kill them off Alright, with that, we should be able to do pretty decent work. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to kill off you. Going to come over here and make sure we kill you and hopefully his ally there. If we miss the ally, so be it. If we didn't, fantastic. I'm going to go straight for killing you. Kaya! And now it's your move, sir. Your move. The angel shall not save you. It's a true statement. Oh, really? You did one one kill to me there? Retribution? Ugh. I'm okay with this. Mostly due to the fact that Celestial Armor will prevent the Retribution from actually hitting, but that's still a bit annoying. And like I said, we are immune to light magic. And it's not that big of a deal. 20,500 damage. What's your play, buddy? What is your play? Retribution again? You can't even close. It doesn't even matter. Our Celestial Shield is still up, so... Get handled! Uh. That's right. Victory is ours again. Not that many losses. We only lost, what, three that time? If we waited, I think we'd have lost a lot more. We defeated Galena. They are throwing everything they can at us. It is not a pleasant experience. Alright, so we gotta figure out what we wanna do. This bridge is already destroyed, so I guess we're okay there. I don't really want to repair it. Yet. Maybe maybe in the future. But I don't think I have to. I think the play is going to be to come over and deal with stuff on this front. Going this way looks like it's not going to be as fruitful, so... Not going to do it. I'm going to go here and we're going to tag up the ore there. Well, hold on. I say it's not going to be fruitful. There is one... Plus one might permanent bonus over there, and there's a fountain of restoration. Along with a sawmill that we've already control. I guess we're gonna go and fight this group. Alright, let's do combat against the Tricor of Griffins that are opposing us. I think we'll be okay with it. I think it'll be just fine. Alright, we'll move you over out of the way, gonna back you up just slightly, gonna back you up slightly, and I think you're fine. Right where you're at. Alright, let's start this up and see what they're going to bring to the table. Griffin number one. Griffin number one. This combat field is way bigger than the other ones that we've dealt with thus far. It's here. Look how far they... Oh my gosh, it's so big. Alright, whatever. We're going to kill off 11 of them right now. We're going to wait our turn. Wait our turn again and again and again and... An attack, and I believe a kill. And I don't think that they can actually close with any of us. This one might be able to close with... Yeah. The rest, no. Alright, the defense is there. We're going to come over here and defend and defend. They're going to move forward. We should be able to annihilate them. Again, this is short of them having any kind of high morale move. Which is a possibility, but I think they skipped their turn. I think they had a low morale move there. So, I'm going to hit you. Going to blast you. Going to follow up blast. You know what? I don't care. We're not going to do that. We're going to kill you. Off a little bit. Oh, look at that high morale. Eh? Eh? Not too shabby. We're going to defend. I want to attack with you, but I feel like that's probably silly of me, so I'm not going to. I am, however, going to kill you with him. I'd say it's a coordinated effort, or maybe it's not. I don't know. It really depends on what kind of mood I'm in. All right, so it looks like we can probably annihilate this really simplistically. The wolf versus the griffin. This time, the griffin falls short. Yay! Go, wolves! Go! All right, next up. Let's see here. Gonna snag the pile of ore. I'm gonna come over here and grab this. And then I guess we're just gonna come on in. I don't necessarily have to, but I'm going to. Why? Because I'm eager. Uh oh. Apparently, there's gonna be another avalanche blockading me in some way, shape, or form. Oh, it destroyed another one of my bridges. Okay. Alright, Thomas learns new spells. What new spells did I learn? Oh. Burning Determination and Fog Shroud. Let's see what Burning Determination is. 
Increase the morale of, of the target friendly creature by or for three turns. Okay. Doesn't say by how much though. And we already know what Fog Shroud does. Alright, we should be able to gather up a few more troops. Though they are all the weaker troops. Hmm. I guess we can get some more marksmen. That's going to be a pretty good play for us. We will recruit them. Throw them into our mix. And we'll leave the rest until later. Alright, well, it looks like we can go do a battle with that thing. Or we can come around over here and do something. Eh. I think it's fine to leave it this way. What is this thing? A blood forge. Alright, let's go kill off the Griffin army in the next turn. And the next episode, folks. We're gonna come down here and tag this up. Grab this. And then go for broke here. We're up against several Griffins ourselves. And we'll see how this plays out. And once this combat's done, I think we'll be able to break off the episode finally. Alright, let's start it up and see what they're going to bring to the table. Alright, the first moves forward, we wait. The second moves forward, we still wait. The third moves forward-ish. Alright, well we can annihilate this one straight off, and we're going to. Bye, and if we have another good move, we should be able to annihilate... Oh, nope, not quite. Hmm. This could be a problem. Alright, we're gonna have to wait. I might be able to kill you outright. Not quite. Gonna do the 8 to 12 down here. And the 5 to 7. Not quite enough. We do 3 to 7. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. I don't know what we're gonna end up losing. But maybe we get lucky here and we get to move again with him. We do. Well, it's not going to be fantastic for us, but meh. We're going to attack anyway, because we can. So, there's definitely going to be a few losses on our side, but... I don't think it'll be too bad. We killed off of that Gryphon, or Gryphon as it were. And it looks like an attack from behind there. Not that big of a deal. It was a marksman. I believe we have the ability to heal, and we shall do so. Give us back our marksman! And we shall annihilate you. Like that. Okay, there it is. Alright, she leveled up again. What we're going to do is, as I said, go down the light magic tree. We're going to actually do that. I like uh, the heal being castable on more areas. So that's okay. Let's see what else we get. Celestial armor is now castable uh, in a group. Nice. Plus four magic for light spells. Every other wisdom ability adds plus four. Not bad. Okay, and we're going to come on over here. Tag up the gold and cross the bridge. And destroy the bridge. The bridge is being occupied. Get your butt off the bridge, is what it's saying. Destroy the bridge. There it is. And so far, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Alright, we're going to come over here and grab up a pile of wood. Or not. Alright, what we are going to do, however, is go to Old City here and see if we can't get ourselves a little bit closer to being able to afford some of these other things. 15% um, chance for negotiations with neutral armies. Negotiations mean that they're going to charge us to join, in my opinion. Could be totally wrong, so we're just going to do that. It's going to be okay. And we're going to come down here to Hammerfall. Or up here to Hammerfall. However you want to say it, that's fine. And we are going to get ourselves the uh, chaplains being able to be built. Oh! And finally, finally we can recruit Seraphs. Or we can recruit the dudes that he is actually utilizing right now. The Land Catchy or whatever they are. The Land's Knetch... Knechte? I don't... I have no idea what that is. They use those same uh, characters as some of the town guards in Battle Brothers, and I have no idea how to say it there or here, guys. 
So, it is simply what it is, but apparently we have two different choices for our champions. And I'm not sure which is better, honestly. The Seraph look like they're pretty crazy and really good. Which can be upgraded to the Celestial, which have Resurrection. They have 480 HP, 68 damage, 20, I mean, they're, they're pretty darn powerful, right? And then we'll take a look at the Swordmaster, which is the upgraded dude here. And 450, 480, 68 to 68, 69 to 7 to 81 is a little bit higher. 28 attack versus 20 attack, but no resurrection. I don't know, it's a tough call. The uh, other dudes definitely do more damage, but the angels, eh, they might have more utility with that resurrect ability. It's really hard to say. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I'll catch you tomorrow. With a little bit more Might and Magic Hero 7. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>